Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Genkov and I am here with some news about the current state of development of my volumetric data or voxel engine called Wonderland. Firstly, I want to talk about the last presented RTX ray tracing implementation. There is a new feature I've done and it's simple but nice volumetric lighting. Thanks Xima for the idea to project the path of a ray onto the shadow map to compute the fog factor. This implementation still needs a lot of optimizations and couldn't give any acceptable performance on the large scene. So there is a rewritten algorithm of greedy meshing for the static objects of the scene. Yes, there were some tries to build level of details. But there are problems with the triangular representation. Firstly, its acceleration structure is not intended to store such voxel geometry. And the known triangular optimization methods don't use enough information from the volumetric scene to work easy and efficiently from both performance and memory usage sites. So you should adapt your model to represent it with triangles. And even if it's possible, it's too far from being maintainable. This is the reason I start to work on a completely separate implementation based on the idea described in this paper. Such implementation should theoretically deal with the described problems. The acceleration structure is volumetric by design and there is only the data needed for the actual traversal is stored on the GPU. At this point I have simplified version of the paper's model, which use octree instead on nCube tree and doesn't use data compression. Every GPU array traversal step is requesting data from the CPU which is sent for the next frame, so this is a per frame interaction. The GPU memory utilization is minimal, but there is still a lot of work to optimize the amount of data being transferred. And I am almost sure working with dynamic data is pain with this implementation. Doing every frame array state invalidation makes the optimizations completely useless. Maybe that's why there is no thousands of production ready voxel engines. There is no solution which could beat all the issues at once. I want to implement n body simulation using Burns Hut method to improve my knowledge of how to work with the dynamic octree. And lastly, since the development on the GPU is too complicated and hard to debug because the card's memory and, well, the whole runtime live on a separate device and it's an overkill to prototype with GPU, I've started a challenge ray tracer project which use CPU only. This should help me to easily implement all the math and models I use, test it and master Rust writing skills. The project used direct terminal rendering with escape color codes. For now I have the basic material attributes, multiple point lights, primitive and volumetric geometry. The last uses octree optimized DDA for traversal. And I am intended to make this project public at some state, so stay tuned.